In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to connect a PlayStation 4 controller to Apex on PC. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. Connecting and using a PS4 controller on Apex on PC is super simple. In order to do this process with ease, we need to use Steam. So if, if you run Apex Legends outside of Steam, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and you add it as a non-Steam game. The reason why we're going to be using Steam for this method to set up the controller is because Steam has a feature called Steam Input. Steam Input will help your computer detect any sort of controller connected and automatically set it up to be used in any games, including Apex Legends. So the first step once you are done adding the game to Steam is connecting your controller to your PC. You can connect your DualShock or PlayStation 4 controller to your PC using a cable or wirelessly through Bluetooth, for example. Regardless of which option you choose, just make sure that the controller was detected. You should see this little pop up at the right side of Steam if it was. Now, click on these little settings icons over here at the right side of Apex Legends, and when you click on this cogwheel, go to Properties. Inside of Properties, switch over to the Controller tab, and the most important thing here is that if it is set to use default settings, make sure you switch it to Enable Steam Input. This is going to enable the feature that I mentioned previously in this video, and Steam Input will be turned on for all sorts of controllers, including the PlayStation controllers that you are using. Go ahead and click on Controller Configurator, and you can now browse to Templates. Templates are basically how the buttons, D-pad, and everything is mapped. You can browse through community-made layouts and find highly rated ones, or you can use the recommended layout. You will notice that I am using an Xbox controller, and I apologize, I usually don't have a DualShock 4 with me, so I will not be able to show you this video visually with the PlayStation 4 controller, but as you can easily see, you will be able to change the layout without any issues for your PlayStation 4 controllers. It is only a visual difference for this video. You will be able to change the buttons, the D-pad, triggers and joysticks, and everything according to your own liking, or what I would recommend is just select the highest rated community template. You are now ready to use the DualShock 4 the next time you launch Apex Legends, as long as Steam is running and Steam input was properly enabled. I hope I was able to help you on how to connect a PlayStation 4 controller to Apex on PC. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.